It's time for the bunny hop. It is the one skill everyone wants to learn, but patience and practice is the name of the game. Here we will incorporate three level pedal body positions in five movements. If you aren't familiar with the bike and body separation movements, please head back and watch those videos now. And if you are, let's get hopping. Begin learning with a small trail obstacle as a reference point and cover the rear brake for safety. Start in the neutral riding position. From there, move into ready by bending both arms and legs at the same time. Directly flow into the neutral back position, straightening both arms and legs at the same time. Here, the front wheel should release effortlessly. Stay extended, driving the hips toward the handlebars. Once your hips reach the middle of the bike, the rear wheel should release. As the front wheel reconnects with the dirt, move back to ready to absorb the landing, then pushing back to neutral to reset. Remember to drive these movements from your feet and avoid pulling with your arms. No matter where you learn the hop, be deliberate when executing the five movements and maybe even start with smaller movements to begin. So now that you've had the opportunity to practice on a more flat area with your bunny hop, it's always fun to up your skill level and apply it to features kind of like this one. Jumping up obstacles like street curbs can become much easier once you master the bunny hop. Find something that doesn't scare you to start on and play with it. By mastering these five movements in time, you will nail the hop. I just love the bunny hop. It is my favorite skill. And there's so many opportunities to use it out on the trail. But remember, practice makes perfect. And keep putting the work in and you're gonna love it too. Thanks for watching and happy trails.